Hey YouTube, it's Nerd Cat for another video. And if you couldn't catch what it's about based on, you know, my makeup, see that? Did that. And uh, the title, then I will let you know this is the pros and cons of Pokemon Go because everyone is on this. Like, holy shit. Um, so yeah, so I decided to do a pros and cons list because I do feel like there are some positives and negatives to this app. Um, so if you've been living under a rock for god knows how long, then I will let you know. Pokemon Go is an app for your smartphone. I'm pretty sure it's all smartphones now. So it's your smartphone that hacks into your GPS and your camera so that you can catch Pokemon in the real world. Um, and this has now taken over pretty much everyone I know. And people I don't know. Like, I'll walk down the street and see thousands of people staring at their phone. And now I know what it's for. So, with this, obviously there are pros and there are cons. If not, I would not be making this video because I'm only half-heartedly playing this game. I'll be honest. I've turned it on just so I can catch the Pokemon because it's fun and nickname them. Because that's all I do. I don't go to the gyms because, you know, I'm lazy. And I don't know how to actually battle with Pokemon. Pokemon wasn't, old, like, completely my game. I mean, I was there when it first came out and everything. You know, I was my first Game Boy Color game was Pokemon Red. But I was more of a Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic player than Pokemon. Um, but I'll go into that in another video, maybe. So anyway, let's get into pros and cons with Pokemon Go. So let's start with the pros. Number one, you they brought back a childhood game for a lot of us. We all, a good amount of the 90s kids started with Pokemon and it was amazing. You could catch all these little monsters and battle with them and all this stuff. So of course we were excited. Also, it's bringing back that childhood wonder of being a Pokemon trainer when you grew up. Here you are now, 20 something years old, going out and finding Pokemon and battling with other people. So, of course, this is getting huge reviews and like so many people playing it because so many people grew up with the original game or the cards or the television show, or all three like me. And so, of course you wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. You always did, and now you can. In your real life, seeing a Pokemon through your phone in the place you're standing, which is super cool. Another pro is the way it's doing it is allowing the imagination to continue. Like, a lot of the times, a lot of people who are playing this aren't just Pokemon fans. I mean, yes, most of them are. But a lot of them are playing this because of the wonder and joy that it's bringing out. Like, you're seeing imaginary creatures in a spot where you're standing and you can recognize the landmarks. It's bringing a whole new, like, imagination to this world, which is in a downward spiral to hell, let's be honest. We are all losing our shits right now. So having this little something that brings back the wonder and joy and innocence of our childhood, of course we're gonna be on the bandwagon for it. Dude! You could- I caught a Squirtle in my freaking bedroom! It was awesome! <laughs> I also caught a Eevee in my bedroom. It was funny because she was, it looked like she was hiding under my bed. Um, anyway, so I like that it brings back that wonder and joy of childhood to a time right now when we really need something to make a- like, just a small thing to make us happy because we are slowly falling and it's not good. Um, another pro is it's getting people out and walking and into the sunlight and all of this stuff, which is so great because most people who are Pokemon players mm, don't leave their room, don't leave their house, but you just play it on your portable device so you don't need to leave the house. But here, if you want to 
get higher ranking Pokemon, if you want to battle, you have to leave your house and walk to the gym battles because you can't play them unless you're in the area. And you have to walk to find more uh, higher ranking Pokemon and special Pokemon. And walk if you want to hatch your eggs, which you have, which I still haven't figured out what, I mean, I think they're just Pokemon and eggs, but I didn't know Pokemon came in eggs, but whatever. I still don't know the, the whole gist of this game. Um, but either way, you have to go out and move so that you can progress in the game, which is really good. I mean, they tried this once before in, I think, 2006, when they had a little... Uh, Pokemon game where it was uh, you could only like it was like a stepper do you know what those are you know the step counters they would hook onto your belt and it would count how many steps you've taken well it was the same thing however each step uh, gained more for your Pokemon and your gameplay as if you stepped more which was really cool but no one really it wasn't the same like it didn't give people that re real life feeling anymore because it was like this big and the screen's like this big and everything's all 8-bit which you know for that time whatever but of course it wasn't as popular as this now because this again real world things and you're seeing so many people who are also in love with the game which is really great Finding other people who like the same things that you do, especially something nerdy, is hard. Because you are probably socially awkward and don't really like bringing up things because you're afraid someone's going to laugh at you. This is coming from a girl who has drawn Pokeballs on her face. I know. But this is allowing Pokemon players to get out there and meet other Pokemon players and realize that there's thousands of people who are enjoying what they're doing so why can't you and it's so awesome and I really like that about it because you know you're getting you're getting the adults who grew up with it out and coming back to play the game they loved and then you have the smaller kids that are now just getting into it because you know they've they all have smartphones now, which I don't understand, but whatever. And of course they're getting the app because it's popular. And now they're getting into a game that we all loved as kids, just in a different format. Both the same characters and very similar gameplay. Which is great because you're bringing back something so iconic. Sure, it never went away, but now it's evolved into our digital age which is super cool um but yeah so those are my pros there are probably thousands more but those are the ones that I really feel like hit the nail on the head now for the cons Ay. there are a good amount of cons with this game uh, just as many pros if not more because this game can lead to a, has led to a lot of dangerous situations and so much. The fact that it is in the news almost daily. I know Channel 12 here on Long Island has repeatedly put on Pokemon Go news. Like for the past three days at least. I mean all of them are in Argyle Park. By the way, apparently if you really want some good level of Pokemon, come down to Argyle Park, because that's where everyone is. Holy shit. The entire Channel, tw uh, Channel 12 news is at Argyle Park every day because there are thousands of people with their faces down looking at their phone playing Pokemon. And I only know that because I've walked through Argyle Park and like, what the hell, and told mom about it, and she was like, no, that's no way, and yeah, it's the entire park. Is just Pokemon players. It's ridiculous. I did snag a Electro Buzz from there, which was awesome. Um, anyway, but yeah, Argyle Park is where it's at right now. But this thing is all over the news. Headlines. Everything is Pokemon Go, which is crazy. 
And it's not just the positive, it's the negatives too. There were people who were starting Pokemon meetups where they would lure Pokemon players to a secluded area with the, like, saying there were rare Pokemon or something there. And these people would just go because we're not thinking that this could, someone could be planning something. It's a Pokemon game. But no, these people are going to these secluded areas that they don't know and getting mugged and all of these things because they're not paying attention. Yes, there is the warning in the first second that you're loading the game, it wants you to stay alert. However, it doesn't mean people are doing that. So the problem with it being a GPS coordinated game is that it's telling you to go down streets you may not usually go down. And people are doing that without thinking. So, of course, if you're not paying attention and you're looking down at your phone through alleyways and side streets that you don't know, there is always a possibility, no matter what, that something might happen to you. So, I'm saying this too. Be alert! <laughs> yes, I know it's fun to catch Pokemon in the real world. It's awesome. But not if it's going to cause you to be harmed. Because seriously guys, there's a lot of people who will take advantage of people just not paying attention and that's what this game is. It's causing you to only look at your phone. So please be alert. That's another thing. People are just going out in the middle of the night. Guys, this could cause a lot of problems. Not just for walking around in the middle of the night, which you shouldn't do in general especially alone. Do not play this game alone if you're walking around. You should at least have one or two people with you because you don't know what could happen and you don't want to be alone in a situation that could occur. But walking alone at night causes many problems. Number one, you're walking, well you're walking in the middle of the night so people could probably not notice you and hit you with a car. Number two, you're going down streets you don't know in the middle of the night. God only knows what could happen to you. And number three, people will call the cops on you. You're creepy people. Not saying you're creepy, but let's be honest. If you were sitting in your living room in the middle of the night and all of a sudden you just see people creeping around your yard, you're going to call the cops. It's weird if you don't know what's happening. Even if you do know what's happening, they sh you shouldn't be creeping around people's yards in the middle of the night. But, like, seriously, be aware of your surroundings. And if you're going to go at night, because I'm not going to force you not to, what hold do I have over you? None. None whatsoever. I'm just the weirdo on YouTube. If you are going to go out at night, make sure you have people with you, friends that you trust, lights, flashlights, uh, um, safety vest kind of things, reflectors, just things so people realize that you're there, number one, and that you're not dangerous. I mean, they should already figure that out because all of you are glowing by the lights of your phones. But still, be careful when going. Because I'm not going to stop you, but I do wish that you'd be careful because it's dangerous in general. But it's really dangerous if you're not careful. So please be aware and... Take the necessary precautions if you're going to go out Pokemon hunting at night. Seriously. Moving on from that tangent, we also have the problem that it is freaking hard on your battery. Holy shit is this game overheated my phone 110 times. Yes, there is a battery saver on it, but I don't think it actually does a lot. And since to hatch your eggs, you have to keep the app on at all times while you're walking it really drains your battery and overheats it so I would be careful with using it definitely if you're not using it turn shut down well not shut down like log out of the game so that it's not wasting your battery because even if you just turn it off like just clear it from your screen it doesn't mean it's off so sh like log out of the game itself so that you are not wasting your battery because that's all you need is your battery to be wasted and you're in the middle of 
God knows where because you went to go Pokemon hunting and now you can't call anyone. Keep an eye on it. Uh, there's another thing that was bothering me about this game. Oh, it is very glitchy. There are times when I will, it will glitch out in the most unopportune moments when you just caught a really good Pokemon and you're really excited and it just said gotcha and then it freezes. You can't do anything. The entire game freezes and the only way to get out of it is by shutting down the game. Which means you lose that Pokemon. Which is very frustrating. There are also times when it will catch the Pokemon but not actually bring in to show that you've caught it. It will just sit there while you move your camera around. So be careful with the bugs. It is very frustrating to be catching something and then find out you didn't catch it because the server failed or the game froze. So be careful with that because there were times when I was ready to throw a phone. <laughs> um, but really, it's, it's a little annoying, but it's not the biggest thing. I mean, it makes sense. There are thousands upon thousands of people playing this at every given second of the day. So of course the servers are going to fail. Don't be angry at them. They are working overtime, those servers. And so, you know, if the server says it fails, then it failed for a few minutes. Breathe, shut down the game, and come back to it a few minutes later, the server will probably be up and running again. So again, don't be over dramatic with it. Just realize that it's a possibility that the server might go down or the game might freeze. Just keep aware again. Um, but that's pretty much it for my pros and cons because I really do like what this game is doing because it's allowing the whimsy and innocence of childhood to come back in the real world. It's getting people more active, which is really cool. But there are also the, you know, people walking around in the middle of the night, people going alone, and people not being mindful of their surroundings. So all I'm hoping for is that if someone does watch this video, please keep aware of these pros and cons. Yes, it's fun to play this. I enjoy catching Pokemon in random spots around my town and nicknaming them stupid things, because pretty much all I do. But remember, you're still in the real world, where things can actually hurt you. So if there is an Eevee in the middle of the street, don't try and catch it. Make sure you're on a sidewalk at all times and be vigilant. You don't need to be in an accident because you couldn't catch a Pokemon. That's just stupid. So please be vigilant but enjoy the game because it is really fun. It's a free app to download. You get to like go around exercising without realizing you're exercising half the time. But again, don't be over- like it is hot. It is summer and it is sweltering most of the time. Do not overexert yourself with this game. Don't get yourself sick because you're walking around in 100 degree weather. Just remember, play Pokemon is just a fun game. So remember that and don't overexert yourself. Be aware. Just please, if, so, if you do watch this video, just keep in mind of these things. Be safe while playing because that's all that I really want to share is to always be safe. No matter what you're doing, just keep an eye out. Okay, that crazy ass rant is over. Um, so hopefully if you guys do watch this video, you keep in mind of the things I've stated. And you know, play safe. Because seriously, I don't want to hear in the news that someone got hit by a car or, you know, was killed because of Pokemon Go. I really don't want to hear about that. We already have too much horror going on in this world that Pokemon Go should not be part of it. So that's it. Um, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon is. Mine is Potty, uh, Poliwog. Poliwog. Sorry. So let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you want and I'll see you next time in another video. And as always, 
stay nerdy my friends later